So this is my power supply unit and I'm going to redesign it in Thinkercad. I'm going to show you how I do this in Thinkercad. Coming up on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hello, this is Zachary from Zachary 3D Prints, bringing you how to review news and other things you can do with 3D printing. If you're new to the channel and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I will put every social media link I have in the description of this video. If you want, you can also support this channel as well. I will put the Patreon link in the description of this video. For the Pursa i3 MK2 3D printer, you got a whole bunch of STL files within the zip file that you can find on GitHub. The link I will put in the description of this video. One of the STL files is the no drill PSU cover. The power supply unit that I'm going to use is the same one for my CTC i3 MK2 3D printer. That one does not fit with the cover. So I can do two things. I can order a new power supply unit and wait for one or two months depending on shipping time. But I also can, for the time being, redesign the existing SEL file within Thinkercad. In this video, I'm using Thinkercad. You can also use Fusion 360, Google SketchUp, or other CAD software. Online, offline, depends on which kind of CAD software you are using. Well, in this case, take a look at Thinkercad and how to edit or modify existing STL files. Let's get into the video. Now we are going to add the ruler to our drawing board and we are going to import our STL file from Prusa. We take the PSU cover, no drill. And well, I don't like the pink version. I want to change it to the gray color that I'm using for my filament. You can change the dimensions by stretching it and it looks quite okay but all your measurements are going to be off in the direction that you are stretching it you won't see it directly but if you are going to compare it with the file that you have then you will get this result we are going to match it and as you can see, it doesn't fit in the axis where we stretched it. So we are going to put it back and we are going to add the basic shapes that we are going to change. We start first with the cube. Well, this is a basic shape that we are using quite a lot in this tutorial for Tinkercad. And by the way, it's not that difficult to make some little adjustments on the models that you are importing in Thinkercad. We are going to make the downside from the power supply unit and mine is 50 by 110 by 199 but we don't need to have the full size of the power supply unit we only need the down part that is going into the cover so we check if everything aligns and now we are going to make it into a so now we are going to lift the box inside of the cover and make sure that from all the three sides it is fitting as good as possible of course the cube that we have is fitting the power supply unit down part that 
I have. When it looks okay, then we make it into a one single part. And now we are going to continue with our manipulation. If you detach one of the points, then it's no problem. You can always put it back. Now we are going to take a new cube and we are going to put it to the right sizes that we need to have. Now we are going to align it with the cover that we have. Stretch it a little bit. So on that side and make it fit into the front side of the cover. So now we are going to fill the triangle shape that we have between our new part and the power supply cover. Of course, just turn it around to have the right angle. Of course, there are many ways to do this, but I like to keep it as simple as possible. And also learning some basics in Thinkercad. By the way, you can also use other CAD software like Fusion 360, Google SketchUp, but I like to use this one because it has the standard shapes and it's easy to work with. Of course, if you are more familiar with Fusion 360, then you can also try to use that program as well. Just trying to get the right angle that fits perfectly in side of this cutout or corner and when I have the right angle I can use this as a template for all the other sides because every time when we are going to select everything from this model we are going to make it into a one part so everything is then away if you have the right shape and you are happy with it don't forget to make a copy of it. Put it on the side, for example, there. Twist it and also adapt the other one that is way too long. If that is all right, then we can push the red box back again. First, pulling it higher. So that's the right height. Something like that. Also chasing that. Now it's looking pretty nice, almost done. Something like that. We select everything except the triangle. We select everything and make it into one part. Of course, in gray again. In Tinkercad, it happens when you are going to put everything together as one part, then it will go to the color that you used as last. We are going to make a hole again to make sure that everything is perfect. Let's try to move it a little bit around and almost yes now we have a nice shape now we are going to add some corners that we used to have you don't really need to do this but i would like to have it as original as possible look okay so the other one we are going to use as a groove on the front side like the one that we had on the left side um, which we still have on the right side so we are going to copy that one as well just pulling it a little bit higher something like that just twist it a little bit 
and then make it into a hole shape and then putting it on the front side so because my frame has two nuts sticking out of the z frame i need to make a hole on the side that is touching the frame so make sure that this is aligned well that and we make it into a whole complete shape a little bit adjusting we take another cube and we are going to use it for the front side to enlarge it why because my power supply unit has on the back side a few screw holes which i'm going to use to attach it to the front side so the wall thickness is almost the same I'm going to make it that it was also looking as good as possible put it on the top there put also the little triangle shape on the front side as well make it into one piece change it back into gray again looks pretty much okay like this and now we are going to add something which I didn't have to do but sometimes this happens we need to make two holes where the screws are going to come for the power supply unit both are on 90 90 millimeters high and the distance between each other is 89 millimeters something like that at this moment my Thinkercad crashed so I had to redo the text again but now I didn't use the work place or work area and I used the Z3DP as extra text underneath the Prusa 3D logo. I think it's looking nice like this. Now we are going to add the bracket. The bracket I'm going to make exactly the same as we already have, so I can make a copy of it. I was thinking of it to cut it, but I am not able to do that in Thinkercad. So I use the way that it's most easy to do and that is make an exact copy using an alignment and also using the basic shapes we have in Thinkercad. For this program or this way of working, keep it simple. Not too complex, not too fancy, just using basic shapes. Also the corners. Turn it. Align it. And because that are going to be holes anyways, just select them both and then drag them to the shape that you are going to copy. Also the screw holes. And as you can see, they are not round, they are roundish. So when the screws are not perfectly aligned it's no problem but in my case it was happening that i couldn't fit them at all also here i use the copy function so select the other one using shift and then align them as well i'm also doing that here to make sure that the distance is exactly the same as the original so I used the copy function to make a copy and that I could drag it away. Now I need to make sure that my copied shape is exactly at the same place as I ha need to have. So now I move it around and I did measure that it is a few centimeters on 
the right side. So now we are going to close the hole that we left behind from the old bracket and make it as nice as possible. It's also on the inside and I think it's looking nice like this. Just take checking the other side so and uh, we are all done we select everything and make it into a whole shape also we are going to change it again back in gray because I like the gray color that is it one power supply unit cover made now we are going to export it put it into Cura or other slicing software and start printing it so to wrap up this video, it's not that difficult to use something like Tinkercad. Well, I use Tinkercad because it's easy, it's simple and you have some basic shapes where you can accomplish the most difficult task in the simplest way. You can also use other CAD software like Fusion 360 or Google SketchUp or maybe other CAD software. In this case, uh, Tinkercad uses quite simple basic shapes. With those basic shapes combined, you can make some other shapes. Well, that is one cool thing about Tinkercad and making your own STL files, or in this case, a remake of an existing STL file. Well, I could have ordered a power supply unit that's, that is exactly the same like Prusa i3 MK2 uses but in this case I made a conversion and that means you are able to change and modify some of the STL files within the zip file. After printing you need to test fit. Are all the holes at the right place? Are the screws are going in in the right order? Is the bracket on the right place something like that you can add to your printed model if it is all okay then you did a job well done if not continue with redesigning it until it is perfect and that's what I did it took four prints but now it fits and it looks awesome and that is one thing that we want to accomplish in within 3d printing so that being said Thanks for watching, please like this video, subscribe to Zachary 3D Prints and I will see you next time. And hey, let's, let's make some fun with 3D printing. Zachary 3D Prints, bye bye.